I love tunnels! Baker Bay, where the Columbia River empties out into the Pacific, here in Washington State. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, all wonky vids, and here with you, and today we are at Cape Disappointment, which is uh, named after some seafarer who uh, was disappointed when this wasn't the right place when he wanted to get here. Anyways, as you can see, there's a pretty cool lighthouse here, and also an interpretive center for Lewis and Clark in their journeys here through the area in the Pacific Northwest. So we're gonna check that out and also check out this uh, lighthouse. There's another one here. We'll see if we can have time to get to today. You know, let's go around and see what this place has to offer. Why don't you come along with me? Uh, that uh, building up there on top of the cliffs is the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center. So we'll be going there next after we check out the lighthouse here. And, um, there's been a lighthouse standing here since 1856. It actually had some 15 inch guns here during the Civil War period to protect the coast. And there is a coast guard um, right down the hill from here. I'll, I'll let you get a little view of that. But yeah, this lighthouse is about 180 years old. So that's pretty cool. That's yeah, some incredible scenery here on the the trail here. This one comes up from the parking lot to the lighthouse, the Cape Disappointment Trail. This area is paved because uh, Coast Guard people drive up to the lighthouse. And there are also some um, old World War II era bunkers here because we're on the coastline. Look at this incredible scenery. That, that down there is Dead Men's Cove. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is the uh, US Coast Guard base right here. So, um, yeah, no trespassy. Definitely no trespassy. That's government property, so uh, you'll get lots of trouble for that. Yeah, the trails are somewhat marked. That goes to Deadman's Cove, where we look down there. But then uh, the little small riding right there. This is the little path that goes to the lighthouse if you're heading towards the lighthouse from the park. All right, folks, right now we are going on a little side trail to the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center, but just look at these trees. Amazing. All right, and here's a little, the little bunker area here. Must have been some naval guns and all sorts of ammo storage here. That's interesting. Yeah, I think this is one of the batteries. Yep, this is Battery Harvey Allen, actually. This is cool, you got some um, old fireplaces in these rooms. The Cape Disappointment is where the West Coast's largest river meets the world's largest ocean. Interesting. A little rocky outcrop there to kind of protect this area. Beautiful views from up here. And this is the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center at Cape Disappointment. And that famous quote from Thomas Jefferson, the object of your mission, the Pacific Ocean. And they made it. Nice. There is a Lois and Clark exhibit which you have to pay for. It's uh, five dollars for adults. But then there's another exhibit room over here which is actually free. So you can check this part out without having to pay extra. And there are men and women's bathrooms in this interpretive center. This right here is pretty cool showing the old coastline. Turn the ice age. 
Oh yeah, this is really cool. This old uh, light from a lighthouse. Yeah, imagine having to go out in those treacherous waters with these ships, because that's all that was available. Yeah, so those are some of what the guns would have looked like in that battery that we saw outside there. There's one of the shells. Oof. Yeah, lots of history in here. That was Cape Disappointment State Park, which um, actually wasn't a disappointment at all. It was really nice here. I love the hikes, but it has gotten cold. As you can see, there's just clouds all around. The temperatures drop down probably into the low 60s. I'm starting to shiver a little bit here. So I'm not going to go to the other lighthouse, but I hope you enjoy this. So, I mean, if you love big nature and big scenic vistas and lighthouses and history, then you know what I say. Cape Disappointment State Park, 100% recommend. Yeah, even this um, trail here going up to the interpretive center is quite steep, even though it's paved. But there is a way to drive up to the top and like drop someone off if they have problems doing hills or if they're in a wheelchair or something like that. So, you'll still be able to get and see this um, beautiful interpretive center and the beautiful view of Cape Disappointment. And that's an all wonky pro tip for you. You're welcome. Down here is the main parking lot area for Cape Disappointment. So what I would say is I would come early both so that um, you get a spot available because I had to wait for like five or ten minutes for someone to leave and then also so that like it, it does weather tends to turn here in the afternoon so so this is a day use fee area here in the state park and it's um ten dollars a day or really if you find yourself in Washington and you're gonna end up going to like two or three state parks you might as well just get a Discover Pass. It's only $30 for a whole year. Mm -hmm.